it's my honor today morning to welcome you all to this inaugural KCAC Climate investment change summit. poses an existential threat to our environment, our economy. One of the biggest challenges is to the lack of investment. Gentlemen, climate change, as we all know, is a global challenge that requires coordinated partnerships to mobilize a sustainable finance, both from public strategies and create avenues to attract investments in valuable It's not partners. just for large companies. It's equally as important to small companies as well. And that's the message that we are trying to drive home. It's just the numbers, but it's about what is behind the numbers. The spirit of fostering a greener, more responsible business environment. Let's embark on this insightful journey together. KCIC Investment Summit 2023 was a pivotal event that brought together over 500 participants from various sectors of the climate finance ecosystem. The summit served as a platform for crucial discussions and initiatives to advance climate resilient investments in Africa. We know that the world has a crisis and it's at the crossroads at the moment. And that crisis is the crisis of climate change. And so we need a transformative agenda. And part of that agenda is, of course, has got to be financed and has got to be financed at all levels, both the small enterprises or the smaller projects as well as the larger uh, projects. I encourage all of you to use this summit as a platform to engage in, meaningf in meaningful discussions and to share insights and explore opportunities for collaboration that will drive sustainable development and combat climate change. Unemployment and low quality or low paying jobs, especially among the youth, are rising rapidly and the population growth is outstripping by far the rate of new job creation. This is a challenge we all have to grapple with. The climate crisis has become hellish with all the terrible disasters we are witnessing day in and day out in every corner of our planet. Our country, Kenya, is already feeling the burden of the associated climate change effects, despite contributing less than 0.03% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. The question, therefore, is how to empower SMEs, drive sustainability agenda, and social investments across various uh, pillars. Let's explore the transformative power of sustainable reporting for SMEs. As SME, you must be wondering why are we discussing sustainability reporting? When we talk sustainability, most times SMEs look at it as um, an extra burden that we are adding to you. Uh, sustainability reporting is simply uh, put together uh, a statement or a series of uh, steps that you as a company, again, doesn't matter if you're an SME or a large scale or a medium scale enterprises, uh, are telling to the world that, you know, these are the environmental considerations that I have embedded into my businesses and uh, by doing so these are the kind of reductions that I'm doing it's basically your statement saying how you are committing to the greener economy or to the greener world uh, and and a what is that you are doing currently and B what is that you plan to do in the future my advice is first define your purpose so why do you exist as an enterprise you know what, what role are you playing I mean why, why are you there so it's, it's about the mission it's about the vision like many SMEs here the word carbon credits has been a buzzword for quite a while and even from reputable um, climate spaces it seemed like a mirage, you know, something not feasible. There's many, many challenges actually to accessing this market, but I would distill them into three big ones. Uh, so one, it's very complex. Two, it's expensive. And three, there's really long lead times. What role does carbon finance play in your business? So climate finance uh, uh, and development finance overall is a big global agenda currently. We know we have our solutions. We are looking for further solutions and we know financing is there. It's just how to much make them and move them forward. To have summits like this and bring investors and then bring the innovators together, that is going to be the future. Financing is, is a critical component because uh, for many of these uh, smaller businesses, SMEs or MSMEs, um, unlocking that credit or that financing that will 
allow them to scale up whatever they are doing um, and, and, and continue with a renewable and sustainable um, uh, processes is, is, is critical. It's, it's, it's the cornerstone of uh, uh, you know, the f uh, climate change and uh, fulfilling our obligations under the Paris Agreement. The purpose of attending both the African Climate Summit and today is really to try and meet people that can advise us, do we indeed have a local solution? Do we have a role to play in this whole wider uh, carbon and, and climate solution? I am so grateful to KCL, KCSC and all its partners, the EU and Danida. I am so proud to be part of KCIC and I'm so happy to have taken part in their first summit and I look forward to many more with greater opportunities and more entrepreneurs transforming the entrepreneurship landscape. I like to appreciate KCIC since I am a client of KCIC and they have given me opportunities being in such a summit obviously gives me an opportunity to interact with the investors and also other entrepreneurs and also network. Overall, the KCIC Investment Summit 2023 marked a significant milestone in the advancement of climate finance in Africa. By fostering collaborative discussions and raising awareness, the summit facilitated a deeper understanding of the challenges and opportunities within this burgeoning field. As stakeholders continue to champion sustainable initiatives, the summit's impact will undoubtedly contribute to the enduring growth and significance of climate finance for MSMEs and sustainable development in Africa.